Immigrating to the U.S. with no English, no money, escaping war. It's amazing to see what they were still able to do and accomplish. And it's them really trying to give us opportunities that they missed out on, that they didn't have because of the stuff they went through. Making donuts isn't a, you know, easy job. It's pretty physically intensive. And when I walk in and I see them making all these donuts, I feel both joy, pride, and also a deeper desire to do more and work really hard so that I can come in there and they're not there making donuts and they're at home relaxing. Being a son of an immigrant family, you know, really kind of instilled in me like this drive and desire to really, you know, make them proud and build upon what they've created and, you know, what is at stake in their legacy. My parents immigrated to the U.S. in the 80s and they were coming from Cambodia during Pol Pot's regime and he's a brutal dictator. Tragedy and hardship, I feel like, would be an understatement, you know? Because uh, it's really your life being turned completely upside down. So when they came, you know, they don't really have much of anything. Oh, my friend, baby. That's another story to why you baby, because we come from Cambodia. We don't speak English. So the best job is, you in the back, you don't have to do anything, just make and then go home. They work such very long hours, literally every day. You know, they're really the hardest working people I know. I can see we work only two people. Yeah, only us do, uh, doing it. <laughs> Sometimes they uh, like make like almost one o'clock. Last year, like push me. Me and my wife come back to work like, all day, didn't sleep. It's crazy to see like how much they can you know, give of themselves and just knowing about like where we came from, it really creates this like determination to like, okay, if they can do all of that with all these things, bring them down, like there's nothing that us kids can do, you know? I think it was around 2017, 20, late 2016. At the time, I just kind of graduated from college and I was just doing some other jobs and just really feeling unfulfilled and, you know, kind of lost in what I wanted to do in life. And I decided to work with my parents because I felt like what they've created was something very special and unique. And it was a level of trust that kind of lets you, you know, really try to do new things and like really, you know, experiment knowing that they have your back. We wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for our efforts together. And we are a business that prioritizes people first. Uh, 
I am so inspired by all the things that my parents have accomplished. It's their life's work, really. Um, I think they really find joy in being at our store and seeing all the customers that come in, their families and kids, and when you're finally done and then you're seeing people just love the stuff you make. It's all of their hard work translating into joy from our patrons. This is what they created the donuts for.